Not that I've drunk too many cream ales on this channel, but I was as I was reading the Drinkology beer book, one of my first books about beer, and I was reading this section on cream ales, it ended with, for info on a German style that resembles American cream ale, see Kolsch. Well, hello and welcome to another episode of Chewing the Brew. For uh, beer number 101, I will be drinking, and I promise to enjoy, Crispy's Kolsch by Ex Novo Brewing. Crispy's Kolsch is uh, described as a German-style Kolsch ale. I've had uh, a small handful of Ex Novo brews. Um, I believe my first collaboration with my uh, brother and sister was uh, Kolsch... Dripping Sun, I want to say. And we quite enjoyed that. It was a, a wild ale. It was quite delicious. This is not the first time I've had the um, this beer, this Kolsch. Um, I got a four-pack, and I drunk one already, and this will be number two. Colors of straw. Yeah, kind of a little bit dark straw, the yellow side of straw. The head is um, kind of quick to disappear, but quick to come back. Nice variation in the bubble size. And it smells tasty. And oh, that reminds me. I mean, tasty beer always reminds me. Uh, apparently, the unique thing about, or a unique thing about Kolsch beers is that they are not just lagers. Uh, if I have uploaded the ferment brewing Kolsch beer, uh, uh, beer video that was specifically a bottom fermented Kolsch so they they it was it's a full-on lager but traditionally <laughs> Kolsch beers are ales that have been lagered all right so this is where lager means different things in different context to lager a beer, or a lager beer, is a beer that is generally cold fermented using yeast that works more effectively at the lower temperatures, and it takes longer. It's a bottom fermenting beer, but possibly taken from that idea, because it's a longer brewing process, to lager also means to store at cold temperature. Not simply to refrigerate, but to hold at a lower temperature for development of the beer. So, traditionally, a Kolsch is an ale, that is, a, a beer using ale yeast that is typically top fermenting at higher temperatures, that is lagered. So, it's ale yeast used at a lower temperature. Interesting. It probably just indicates the... The, the idea that, that beer is an exercise in creativity and has been for a long, long time. It's not just the modern craft brew movement that's, you know, erasing lines and, and, and fudging boundaries and stuff like that. It's always been the case. There's always been experimentation and a very historic beer style like Kolsch is a trademark example of a blurred line. It is an ale. That has been lagered. And on that note, let's get into it. So, it smells fresh. Um, there's a vibrancy to the flavor. It does remind me a lot of a Pilsner. Um, just light, fresh, malty, uh, a little bit of grassiness. And also maybe a hint of, of lemon peel, but like just, just the barest hint, not more of like a lemon oil almost and and way in the background and that might even just be like the the kinds of grass that come across hmm. nice um this is a lot i think this is a good deal juicier than the than the ferment brewing kolsch um a little bit brighter there's a just a hint of acidity and once again it's it's um Kind of a lemon juice acidity, not lemonade, but not on super tart. It's like there's lemon oil. It's kind of interesting. It's it's got this mixture of the the lemon essence 
with um, not really a sweetness, but a roundness, a, a mellowness, rather than the sharpness you expect from the acidity of an orange. Hmm. Uh, and it's not like green grass. It's like grass when it hasn't rained in a few days. Not dry, but not like super fresh with dew drops green. And a nice cracker malt. Yeah. It's a lot like a Pilsner with with a slightly tweaked character. Lighter. Um, I mean, Pilsner is already, already a, a super refreshing beer. Light colored. Um, you know, focusing on the malts and, and a mild hoppiness. Uh, this is just kind of dialed back a little bit, but with uh, maybe a, a touch more of this kind of lemon essence going on to, to give it a, a different character. And that's really nice. I like it. Good beer. Good beer. Good beer. Anyways, I'm going to finish this up, or I might not. Um, I'm a little bit behind on a on my backlog. I, I, I ran through a lot of my backlog. I changed jobs recently, or I changed um, job schedules recently. Now I'm working four tens. And theoretically, that means I have a Friday that is all mine to, you know, do with as I please or, you know, with the family, new plans for the family and stuff like that. And uh, it's just been really busy. And it means my evenings are shorter because I'm working a longer day the rest of the week. And I traditionally recorded videos in the evening. Um, but on the upside, we've also been having like families over and that's good. Uh, being hospitable is a. Uh, a worthwhile endeavor and worth the effort, but it takes time. Um, so <laughs> I think I might actually put this beer down and go record another video, you know, just to work on that backlog. And hey, while you're here, if you've lasted through the ramblings this long, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe and tell me your favorite Kolsch. And uh, I'll pretend to take a few sips of this on my outro. This is Matthew. I've been chewing the brew, drinking Ex Novo's Crispy's Kolsch. I will catch y'all on the flip side. <laughs>